I'm David with ArringtonCoaching.com and I want to talk team building today. I know we love it. It's a, you, If you search Google for team building, you're going to find a bajillion, gazillion answers. But at, at the pace and the time frame you have, I know I've talked to a lot of my clients and I've seen this happen. Team building can be relegated to something we do once a year. But let me give you two quick ways to build your team that you can do every single week or every month on your schedule. You ready for that? You like that? Yep, I thought you would. Let's start in three, two, here we are. Hi, my name is Dr. David Arrington. I'm an executive coach and leadership trainer. I help leaders just like you lead more effectively and I want to talk about team building. So, team building is fundamentally the idea of aligning your team but a relational perspective where people work better with people they like. You know the old adage, you buy from people you know uh, trust and you know like, no like and trust, that was it, that you know like and trust. People work more effectively with people they know like and trust, which is why many teams uh, in, employ some team building ideas. And what I want you to understand is it doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to take a whole day, it doesn't have to be something that puts you outside of your normal routine. The two quick ideas are one, Find some icebreakers that you can use in every team meeting. It doesn't have to be every team meeting, but you want to be consistent. You want to take the time to help people get to know each other, to laugh, to joke. Uh, there's something that happens when we talk and we get to know each other. We start to like each other a little more and it's easier to work with people you know, like, and trust versus people you hate, despise, and wouldn't cross the street if they were about to get hit by a bus. You know, those are two different groups, right? So you want to encourage that type of relationship building on your team. Icebreakers are very easy, very quick. Do a quick search on the internet and you'll find a million icebreakers. So you could have a different icebreaker for every team meeting once a week, twice a month or whatever, however often your team meetings are. You could do that super easy, super quick. Second is you want to plan some away from the office time. Whether it's a half day or what, off-site, or at least away from the hustle and bustle of your normal routines and the, the phones you got to answer, the emails, all that stuff. You want to get people away from that so that you can step back and take a look at where you are and where you've been and where you're going. You want to give your team that opportunity to take a longer view so that they're able to step back and, and then you can work in a lot more team building and get them to get on the same page, understanding again what they are bringing to the table, what everyone else is bringing to the table, and what obstacles they have to overcome together. Because when you don't give them completed uh, plans, when you allow them to knock down those obstacles by themselves, then you're going to help them get to know each other, help that team grow and gel together so that over time they're a high performing team. They're doing more high performing level work than they would otherwise. So those are the quick uh, two ideas. Uh, be consistent, do some icebreakers in every team meeting, and some of you are already doing this, and then you wanna also take the time to get everybody off site maybe for you know a half day every quarter just to kind of help everyone get on that same page again. Well, we're done for today. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And also grab the Epic 27 Point Leadership Checklist that is linked below this video. Until next time, make today count.